How you doing? My name's Tom Crandall from Antique Outings and what I have here is the Turner 22X microphone and it's a crystal microphone not uh, dynamic like a lot of microphones are today and as you hear me talking it sounds a little bit like I'm in a tunnel just a little bit uh, but it's a, it's a cool microphone it has some neat features here we have this fin on here and you can see um, I just have a 1 4th inch uh, connector going in here um, it has an ethanol connection which basically looks like a uh, it just has a little center point it doesn't have a three prong connection or a two prong or a four prong like a lot of microphones do um, like with the XLR connections this actually has just a little center point there and so sometimes um, finding the proper cords uh, for these can be hard because you actually need this piece here to connect to the microphone. But it's on a 1940s uh, base, probably 1940s to 1945. Really nice base, heavy duty. Um, this microphone's not going to fall over. And this one is adjustable. These bases alone, sometimes when you find these things, they can go, you know, $75 to $150 just for the base, not even the microphone. So when you're out there looking for these things, know that the bases can actually be more than actual microphone. Uh, the Crystal 22X here, the Turner one, um, you can normally find these uh, between $50 to $150, depending. Um, there were some later versions, the 34X and 34D. Um, those go for a little bit more. And the, the sound quality, of course, is a little nicer. Um, the Ds, in general, sound better than the Xs. Um, and then there's also the 34X, which is a really neat looking uh, microphone. And those generally will go from like $250 to $400. Again, depending on quality um, and whether they come with a base or not. Um, if you can, always try to get all three parts. So you want the cord, the base, and the microphone. But a lot of times you don't have that luxury. So. Getting the microphone is great, but sometimes you'll run into a situation like uh, I recently got a, a static uh, 77 and it had a two prong uh, cord or two prong input into the microphone and I didn't have a two prong cord, so I had to get a two prong cord. Um, so just be aware of that. Sometimes the mics uh, that you get uh, aren't going to have the cords you need, so then you're going to have to go and search. Uh, in general, eBay is probably going to be your best place to find some of these older cords. Uh, you might be able to find some, you know, at some old music store or something like that. But in general, I found that a lot of music stores don't even know. Like they're like, "Wow, this is a really cool mic," but they don't have anything for them. So check out our website, Antique Outings, and we'll have lots of write-ups and things like that on on stuff like this and um, just general antiques and and bayonets and cool things like that, staplers, whatever. But uh, we definitely are going to have lots of write-ups on microphones. So thanks so much and have a great day.